Silvia. What are you doing here? I sort of came by to see Carlos, but mainly I wanted to see you and apologize about Saturday. Fine. Uh, I've been waiting for a while. Where you been? You know I go to my volunteer class at the clinic once a week. Oh, yeah. So what's that stuff you got? <sighs> Training materials about HIV and AIDS. Look, Fernando, you made your little apology. I'm not interested in hearing any more. Silvia, you aren't even giving me a chance. I've already given you lots of chances. What happened Saturday was it. No more. Silvia, I messed up. I admit it. Messed up? You dumped me at my own quinceanera party, and then you get busted for drunk in public, and you call that messing up? It was a stupid thing to do, but I never meant to hurt you. You gotta believe me. Even if I did, Fernando, I'll never have another quinceanera. You knew what it meant to me, to my family. I thought it meant something to you, too. You did, Silvia. Oh, really? Then it must have been somebody else that I saw sneaking off with that guy, Sal. There I was, my father making the toast in front of everybody, and where were you? Somewhere getting loaded. Why did you do it, Nando? I don't know. I just did it. I guess I thought it would be fun. Sal wanted me to go. And you couldn't have said no? He forced you to go off and drink with him, right? And after I asked you not to ruin it for me, you still did it. You really hurt me, Nando. Baby, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. It's too late for that. What do you mean? I mean, it's not worth it to try and make things work between us. I don't want to see you anymore. Celia, I promise it won't happen again, please. Look, this whole thing has really messed everything up for me. Hey, Coach Langley kicked me off the team. Everybody's all upset. Look, I don't want to lose you, too. I need you, baby. Forget it, Nando. You brought this on yourself. As far as I'm concerned, you got what you deserve. Besides, if you need somebody, have your friend Sal find you a girl. He got you one before. Did you sleep with her? No. Liar, that's not what I heard. I swear, Sylvia, I didn't sleep with anyone. I don't know. I can't remember. Baby, please, wait. What for? Find out if you got infected with some disease or if you got the girl pregnant? You probably don't even remember if you used one of these. You know, Fernando, they're teaching a group of us how to counsel other kids about HIV and AIDS. I guess I should have started with you. Silvia, give me another chance. Get some help, Fernando, before something worse happens to you. Wait. Silvia! What are you doing here? I just came by to tell you I was sorry for what happened at Hector's house. Sorry? Forget it, Rafael! Come on, Celia! I'm sorry, Chula. It's not gonna change anything. I'm tired of your binges, of worrying, and always having to fight with my family about you. I don't want that or you in my life anymore. Celia, I had a few too many beers, that's it. You're making a big deal out of this mujer. It is a big deal because it affects my life! The whole time we've been together, you've never shown any respect for me or my family. I admit that maybe it was my fault because I never really felt strong enough to do anything about it. But no more! Here's your beer and get out! Something! Mira, Mira, it's one thing to be angry, but you just can't throw me out like that. This is my house and I decide who comes in or out. So help me, Rafael, if you don't get out. I'll call the police! Celia, I said I was sorry. I didn't come here to fight with you like this. What do you want me to do, get down on my hands and knees? No! I don't want you to beg me. I want you to stop drinking. Okay, Celia. I'll stop, Mira. I'll stop drinking, I promise. Oh, it's not that simple, hombre. You're an alcoholic. You have to admit it to yourself. You need professional help. Hey, I said I'll stop. I promise. No, I don't believe you anymore. You said that before and you always go back to it. I don't want to live like this. Don't you understand that? Now get out! Celia, 
give me a chance. You know I can't do nothing without you. Go away, Rafael, please. Just leave me alone. Don't do this to me. You're doing this to yourself. Nobody can change that but you. If you want to keep seeing me, you're going to have to go into a treatment program. Otherwise, I want you out of my life. 